Um, my partners and I started Harpoon in 1986 in the waterfront in Boston with the goal to make great beer and share it with our friends and neighbors. We were the third craft brewery to open in New England. As of today, last count is there are 287 today in the six New England states with more than 75 in planning. So the world has changed quite a bit in our industry. I have great appreciation for the welcome that we received in Vermont almost 15 years ago when we purchased the shutdown Catamount Brewery in Windsor. Both state and local officials and other companies were tremendously helpful to us as we evaluated that transaction. Now I'd like to tell you a little bit about Harpoon. In 2013, we were the 12th largest craft brewery in the United States with close to 200 full-time and over 100 part-time employees. In Windsor, we have 27 full-time and 25 part-time employees. And our brewery, visitor's center, and restaurant produced more than 750,000 cases of beer in 2014 and welcomed more than 140,000 visitors to our brewery in Windsor. In the community, we sponsor and run the Harpoon Point to Point, which is the largest fundraiser for the Vermont Food Bank. Last year, we raised close to $190,000 for the food bank and will go over $1 million in cumulative funds raised in 2015. But the greatest asset that we have and the most important good that we can do for the community involves our people. Making great beer, having welcoming breweries, running wonderful festivals and events, all these require excellent people. In 2014, my partner made clear that he wanted to sell the company. I didn't want to, but agreed to endure a parade of private equity investors, strategic buyers, and investment bankers. And I can tell you that making beer is a lot more fun than sitting through those kinds of meetings. I didn't want to sell to strangers. I wanted to make the people who had helped us build our business over all those years into our partners. I also wanted to keep running Harpoon like a business so we can effectively compete in a very competitive industry. In July of 2014, I announced the creation of the Harpoon Employee Stock Ownership Plan. We bought out my partner and transferred 48% of the company to the ESOP to be given to my fellow employees over the next several years. The long-term goal is in five to seven years when we've paid down the debt from this transaction, we'll sell the remaining 52% of the company to the employees and become a 100% employee-owned company. Thank you. We have the most creative, dynamic economic system in the world here in America. I want to help others see the clear benefits of our system and share in its many rewards. Employee ownership is a wonderful way to do this. I would like to thank Gardner Supply for their early inspiration to us. I quietly came up to a meeting on the QT like three or four years ago to sit in on and met Cindy. Karen Arthur Flowers, we've been welcomed with open arms in, in the Vermont Employee Ownership Center for their leadership in this area. The ESOP community is welcoming and supportive and we are proud to be within the family. At a time when many craft brewers are selling to private equity or large international breweries, we are happy to raise a glass and say, cheers to independent craft brewing and employee ownership. Thank you very much for having me today.